And over here we have the signatures of every single person from the from the neighborhood of Santa Teresa that donate money to build uh, this museum right here. Oh, here uh, you can put your name, Santa Teresa. Uh, the first rounds, they when when. When they start, there was no electricity in the city of Rio de Janeiro, so it was animal traction. There was a mule that used to take the, the tram. Uh, it was only in 19... Let me... Okay, I can wait. There was one day that I was doing this tour and the tourist, she asked me if she could uh, lie her age and I said, yeah, if you want, no one is going to check your ID. <laughs> ah, if you want, you can take pictures here. Yeah. No problem. Uh, here we have a map uh, to show what we are going to do today. We are here on point A. We take the tram and go all the way to the final stop here, to the point J. That is the Prazeres station. Uh, from here to here, it takes like uh, more or less 20 minutes. Uh, so you can see the whole view. And if you can, it's better to see it on the right side because you have a better view from the right side. And the rural start. There is a room from an old mansion that nowadays is a part of the new point where we can see the new point of the city of Rio de Janeiro and also the viewpoint of the city of Niterói on the other side of the Guarda Barabin. And from here we go downstairs and we finish the tour here on Cerrado Steps. There is a very famous steps uh, with 250 steps and 2,000 items from all over the world. And uh, from here when we finish the steps, if you want to go back to the same square where we started the tour, uh, you can just go walking straight ahead for like 700 meters, okay? <laughs> or if not, you can take a uh, Uber on this main street here, in front of the South Sky Edge. Okay. Uh, here again we have an old river of the drum. Uh, and uh, this is an old traffic light of the Santa Teresa drum. Because what happens is that uh, during the vast majority of the road, the route, you have uh, two tracks, one for one tram to go up to Santa Teresa and the other for the other tram to go down to here, to the Carioca station. The only exception is at the top of the arcs, because the arcs are very narrow, so they were only able to build one track there. So you can only go or one tram in one direction or the other tram in the other direction. So they used to have that traffic light to avoid crash. Nowadays they use a walk-talk system. Before the driver cross the arcs, they go if they walk-talk and ask if it's safe or not to cross the arc. If he, if he can, if it's clean or if it's going another trauma in the opposite direction. So here on those walls, uh, it tells the story of the tram system here in New Jersey. <coughs> the first trams they were from 1820, sorry, 1892, but they were animal traction because back then there, was, there wasn't electricity, so it was a mule that used to take uh, the trams. It was only in 1905 that they started to be electrified. And uh, at the time you could go anywhere you want in New Janeiro by uh, taking a tram. They had trams all over, uh, to everywhere here in New Janeiro. And uh, here we have some special trams. This one is taking people to enjoy the carnival in the center of Santa Teresa with some masks of the carnival here. Uh, that one was used to isolate the people with tuberculosis because back in the beginning of the 20th century we had a tuberculosis pandemic and there wasn't a lot of med medicine for tuberculosis at the time, so in order to avoid the disease to spread, they used to isolate the people. After the couple get married, they used to take that truck that was going to take them to the port where they, are, where they were going to take the ship 
that was going to take them to the honeymoon, or to the, the or that run used to take them to the carriage that was going to take them to the honeymoon, depending <coughs> on photos. We have uh, some people traveling. Uh, we have some trams very full, and we have some people traveling outside the tram, uh, standing on the step that we have to enter and exit in the tram holding the, the bar that we have here. This wasn't something very safe to do it though, so we had some accidents. Uh, the most serious one happened a decade ago when a tourist from France, he was traveling outside with uh, standing on mm -hmm. that step and he couldn't hold the bar <coughs> and he fell from the arms and he died. Uh, so since then they forbidden the people to travel outside the tram standing. Now they... Uh, on the second half of the 20th century, uh, with the popularization of the automobile, all those tram systems, they start to be gradually, gradually replaced by bus routes. Uh, and the last trams that we had, the part in 1963, Nowadays, of uh, that whole tram system that we used to have here, the only thing that lasts is the Santa Teresa tram. Yeah. That